Hi there. Welcome to another quick and easy watercolor painting. I'm using a flat brush on a cold pressed 140 pound piece of watercolor paper. And I'm wetting the top two thirds or around the top two thirds of the page here. And I'm gonna make sure it's fairly evenly wet and it's got quite a bit of water on it. I'm going to pick up some Payne's Gray and I'm just going to introduce this Payne's Gray across the top and you can see I'm just tapping the brush to get the Payne's Gray onto the page. And now I'm going to take my red. <coughs> Pardon me. A little bit of allergies. I'm just going to introduce some red across there. Okay, and then that's going to be the red in the sky. So don't do anything more than that. It's just to give the indication of there being some color in the sky. And now I'm going to tip this board towards me. Okay. See all the paint's gray. I know you have this puddle down here, but don't worry about it. And you have all this kind of running down here, kind of a nice misty effect. If you want to get this to run down here further, just tip the board in that direction. Working on a board in watercolor is it's not a hundred percent necessary, but it will give you the ability to move your board around or move your page around without it um, without too much difficulty. So now you can see I've pushed all the all the color and water is back up here. And you can just keep doing this until, until you get the effect that you want. And you see where some of this blue is the blue of the paint's gray is starting to split out. Okay, so I've taken a tissue, you can see I've taken a tissue here, and I've just, you know, um, twisted it up into a point. And I'm going to let all this come down here. And we're not going to quite need this amount of water for this next part. We're going to need it to be damp, but not, not wet like this. So I'm just going to touch that tissue in there. And you'll see it'll wick that water right out. Now you could also do this with a thirsty brush. I just sort of prefer to do it with a tissue. Dry it up here a little bit. All right, let's move on to the next part. So the next part is we're gonna put um, a little bit of a tree line here and a little bit of a tree line here, sort of like it's a, like it's a cold Misty Lake, and again, I'm using my flat brush, and I just loaded it up with some uh, fairly intense Payne's Gray, and I'm just going to touch it along the line here where it's wet, and I'm going to go over to the other side, and I'm going to do the same thing. Now, if you can see, this is starting to crawl up here a little bit. A little bit further than I want it to be. Just take your tissue and again just dry that and that'll stop that from bleeding in there too much. But you can see how we already have this effect of these trees sort of showing up here. Now if I want this to be a little bit more intense, a little bit darker, all right, and I see over here, see right here where this is starting to come up here a little bit too much, just dry that with the tissue again dry it dry it dry it dry it okay there, that's much nicer I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of Payne's gray so this is just Payne's gray on the brush very little water so it's fairly intense and I'm just gonna touch it in a few spots like that. I'm not gonna do too much more to that right now. Okay, that's pretty cool just the way that it is. I mean, you have this 
red in the sky here really looks like a misty tree line you could just say you know that's it just you know just walk away call this uh you know january morning or misty january morning or something like that and you'd be perfectly fine um you know but um Let's go a little bit further here. We're gonna wet this bottom part of this page. Uh, not quite as much water as we used on the top, but we're gonna use, we're gonna wet the whole area. So, you know, it, it has to be that it's, it's wet, but it doesn't have to be like I had, you know, puddles on the, on the top up there. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Payne's Gray again. Actually, you know, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this red. If we have red in the sky and this is a lake or this is snow or you know whatever this is gonna be for you, uh, you're probably gonna need some red here also. So I'm just gonna to touch that a little bit. You don't need to introduce too much at this point. Rinse my brush off. I'm gonna pick up some of this Payne's Gray. And this time I'm gonna put the Payne's Gray in on the left side here. You can put it wherever you want to put it, but I'm gonna put it right here. And then I'm just gonna tip my board so it's pointed in that direction. Let's see if we can't get this Payne's Gray to move over there. I might not have enough water on here. Let's see what happens if I tip it this way. I really like you to think of everything that you do here with me as an experiment and we're never fully sure if something's going to turn out. It's just a, just a fun thing to try and put a little bit more water in this. Put a little bit more water down here and then I'm going to see if I can get this water to run this way. I think if you think of everything as an experiment, you know, this is just something I want to try, you know, then I won't be too disappointed if it doesn't turn out. I was asked recently, you know, how many, you know, how many videos do I do in a day or in a week? I would say of the videos that you see, online that's maybe 10% of the videos that I do the other 90% don't turn out so they end up sort of just deleted and you see now I got this running in this direction it's hard to believe that you know I would only have 10% of my videos turn out but that is the truth. It's not very, it's not a very high number. All right, let's see if we can get some water to flow across the bottom here. If we tilt this this way. See how we're starting to get this to drip coming down? That's a very cool effect. We have some water piling up across here. And this is starting to dry up right here a little bit, so I'm just going to touch it with my brush. And then I'm going to get this to run back up this way. And you can just keep playing with this until you get it to be, you know, wherever it is that you want it to be. Thanks for uh, stopping by and checking me out today. I really appreciate everybody that subscribes. If you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Only about 3% of my viewers are subscribers. I find that difficult to believe, but that is the truth. If you'd like to leave me a question or a comment, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you again next time. I hope all your paintings turn out. Have a great day.